and I'm very happy to, to be here again between great friends and great comrades, a warm embrace for all direct from Brazil. Uh, I ju we just heard a brilliant uh, uh, presentation about uh, socialist democracy in Cuba, in China, Vietnam, and People's Korea, uh, and Venezuela. Uh, in the sense, I chose uh, to do comments uh, on the surreal summit for the democracy led by the by, uh, United States uh, in, this, uh, in this weekend. Uh, and confess, I spent the last uh, the last days uh, looking for a word or a concept to define the summit for democracy led by the United States. Historically, uh, is the most, uh, in my point of view, uh, the, the first impression uh, was the link between these events, the surreal event, event uh, uh, with the uh, one of the most obscure meeting since the. Vienna Congress two centuries ago is the same principles uh, between them, but I followed my native instincts. We Brazilians have uh, the health habit, habit of using a good sense of humor in face with great inconsistency. I might say that in view of the event led by the United States called the Summit for Democracy. <laughs> My, my first reaction one can have is to believe that, that we are facing an immense joke. Uh, the name of this presentation is the Summit for Democracy or the joke of the year, for example, the name of my presentation. But also, uh, the perplexing moment fades. We are forced to deal with the facts, two points. Yes, United States parallelism, the great murders and corrupt power in history has decided to organize an event in favor of democracy. The matter becomes more serious as we come to understand not only the hypocrisy behind the events, but the interests, but the interests that surround, surround it, dark interests. First, let's talk about uh, a bit about democracy in the US. It's interesting to note that a country that, uh, that promotes this, its rights to, the, its rights to def define the concepts and lead the defense of democracy and human rights has the popularity of its presidents determined, determined by war decisions. In other words, the two interesting points the two most popular presidents in recent, in recent US history, Bush father and Bush junior, reached almost 90% of popularity after the decisions to unleash two, two attacks on, uh, on Iraq, uh, 91 and 2003. Such aggressions are part of what I call it have called uh, an attempt to, to, to impose a global military dictatorship, using fancy concepts to deceive the international public opinion. American democracy is the greatest lie factory in history. Why is it was the prophecy? prophecy? Let, let's, 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 let's understand it. Why is it was the prophecy of communist leader uh, and president of 13th International, George Dimitrov, in his historical trial on the occasion of the hashtag fire in 33, when he, and when he predicted that, that fascism and Nazism is a typical phenomenon of capitalism and pay attention. Certainly the next fascist wave, wave will come from the older side of Atlantic. This is uh, the forecast from uh, George Dimitrov. This means that the summit is part of a political architecture to, of a new colonial character. Since the 90s, United States imperialism has promoted, uh, in the name of democracy, major military interventions and widespread semi semiotic warfare with the clear intention of dividing, subjecting, and or destroying entire societies. 
sponsoring color revolutions, promoting coups that take this, uh, this greasy of legality in Latin America and economic stagulation of crown countries like Cuba, Iran, Venezuela, and people Korea. Our crime is against humanity that must be remembered every day by the real defense of democracy, peace, and the right of nations to, to self-determination. If some, uh, if some counters uh, bravely resist, others succumb to fascism waves. We are, we are uh, in Latin America, we are living a fast wave. I'm not surprised that a fascist like Jair Bolsonaro, Jair Bolsonaro, a fascist, was invited to summit, to the summit, to, to summit for. Uh, democracy. Jair Bolsonaro is a friend of democracy, people. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Jair Bolsonaro is the most complete, complete expression of fascism sponsored by imperialism around the world. The United States, I, my point of view, is the greatest threat to the human space, as lethal as global warming. Sponsorship of global fascism is only one side of the coin. Internally, human rights violations, racism, and size denial is the tonic. A country that murdered leaders like Martin Luther King and Malcolm X is the same country that supported the South Africa uh, apartheid until its end. United States uh, has the largest, uh, largest prison population in the world, two million prisoners. Uh, and among uh, eight persons then are black people. Let's not forget as well that the first 10 US presidents were slave owners. Bill Clinton uh, 30 years ago, uh, in a uh, speech, uh, second, he, according to him, United States was born like a democracy, but he forgets the, 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 the first 10 presidents were, United States presidents were slave owners. And that is the no secret that racial segregation in the United States, pay attention, please, again. It's no secret that Racial segregation in the United States was a great source of inspiration for Nazi leaders like Goebbels and Himmler. It's well known that a large portion of, a, of American population flirts with far right ideas. True democracy promotes a culture of tolerance and coexistence with difference. To be back black or late in the United States is to have your life at his at his risk all the time. U.S. democracy is a big hoax. Ninety-one percent of U.S. Congress belongs to the capitalist class. The last elections for president and Congress cost uh, fifteen billion dollars. No Shoms pointed out point out that 70% 70, 70 of the population in the United States has no ability to change the course of United States policy. Some billionaire families control the, control the media and the formation of the so-called public opinion and the president of the highest number of votes is not necessarily declared the winner. Moreover, moreover, the United States electoral system is based, uh, pay attention again, this is a historical fact, interesting fact. Moreover, the United States electoral system is based on a great deal between the Civil War winners and the slaveholders. The slaveholders, the slave masters, requirement to have states with greater or lesser electoral weights and the creation of the Senate was met and remains in a, in a full force. There are many cases in which the votes and Black and Latinos are not even counted in the United States. Finally, apart from the discussion and concept of democracy, 
there is a very dangerous process going on that on that direct uh, uh, going on that direct effects affect the People's Republic of China. The moral decay of the West finds its greatest expression in fascism. The language of fascism is very clear. Two points war. In my point of view, United States is the great promoter of fascism in, in the world now. Uh, in fact, the summit for democracy is not just a joke. I'm serious now. It's way more serious in parallel six to create an internal and an external environment to deepen the encirclement, encirclement of the Chinese socialist experience. Imperialist aggression against China, directly or indirectly, is at the top of Biden's agenda. Thank you too much.